Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I figured I would vlog this week and just do like a summer vlog and a giveaway. Um, I'll show like the giveaway towards the end of the week. So I'm gonna vlog today from Monday, August 5th to next Monday, which I believe is the 12th. And it's 100 degrees outside, it's like 1.30. And so it's just Jaden and I here today. So we decided we would take full advantage of it and get in our pool. And then when he goes back to school on Monday, it's just going to be me and the baby and like 10 cats. But anyways, so I figured I would give you guys like a little bit of a bump update. If you were curious, I'm 29 and a half weeks pregnant today. So I cut my own bangs yesterday <laughs> and I promise they weren't this bad yesterday and then I woke up today and they like shrunk. I don't know what's going on. I'm a mess. Hopefully those prenatal pills will make them grow out faster. But anyway, so Frank just got home and we went and got Papa John's pizza and then we went to Krispy Kreme and got the new like Reese's donuts too. So we're going to eat that for dinner and I think I'm going to film a little bit later. Ooh, look at these Reese's donuts. Mm. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday, August 6th. I just got done filming a foundation and concealer first impression. And then I had to run up here and try to fix my bangs. Oh my god. It's gonna be probably like a good two weeks before they're back to the length that I like. So I'm just trying to bear through it because, oh, they're driving me absolutely insane. Like, oh my gosh. And you know what the sad part is? Is like, I cut my bangs myself all the time. I've been doing it for the last, like, how long have I had bangs? Um, at least seven years I think and I usually just go snip snip and then they're good right this time I actually tried and I like clipped some hair back I tried to do like layers in my bangs I tried to be all fancy and then that's when I messed them all up so I'm just like yeah we're not doing that anymore <laughs> so anyways um I have to take a thumbnail for this foundation first impression and then I'm gonna film a ColourPop haul because it's been a while and ColourPop has been like I, I like can't even keep up they've been releasing so much stuff I'm just like you know like all over the place so I'm gonna do that and then I also have a doctor's appointment I am 30 I think I told you guys this yesterday but I'm 30 weeks on Thursday so this is that week's appointment today so I think it's just like a sonogram just like the normal stuff I'm down to like the every other week appointments now before it was once a month and then like here in like a month or so I'm gonna be down to like weekly appointments oh my god <laughs> Seriously, it's like, I remember being pregnant with Jaden, you know, like 13, 13 years ago or whatever, and I thought my pregnancy dragged on for so long, and then this one has just been like speeding through, like it is crazy to me. Um, and also, like, I remember with Jaden, I worked at this pizza place, and I was working 40 hours a week, and I was on, 40 hours a week, I was working 40 hour weeks, and I was on my feet, like, the whole time, like, running back and forth, doing, like, prep work, getting orders, like, making pieces, like, doing all that kind of stuff, and the only thing that sticks out to me that I remember is that my legs hurt, and I would get, like, kind of, like, shin splint looking, I don't know, I think they call it, uh, restless leg syndrome or something like I got that really bad and I remember my heels hurt so bad I couldn't even feel them anymore but that's the only pain that I remember having and then this pregnancy I'm not working 40 hours a week and I'm not running around like a mad woman at a pizza place either and my legs don't hurt or anything my feet do sometimes if I'm on them too long but I think that's probably normal when you're pregnant and then but I've been getting like really bad back pain and I don't know if it's because my chest is like triple the size I don't know I've never had that problem of them being like ridiculously big so I don't know if that's 
it has a little bit to do with it or I am like heavier in weight than I was when I was pregnant with Jaden like I think it could be a combination of things but then also like the sides of my stomach like where my obliques are like I feel like I get like growing stretching pains right there and I definitely don't remember that with him so it's just weird with like each pregnancy like how different things were and you would think since I'm like not on my feet running around all the time that I would just be I don't know pretty much pain free I guess is what I'm saying and I'm not so that's just like a little weird but anyways also um I'm gonna try to talk Frank told me I had to stop buying baby clothes and I can't help it because I can't help it like when Jaden when I found out I was pregnant with Jaden I started working at the pizza place at six months pregnant and I filled up his entire closet from side to side of stuff and I want to say I pretty much got him in at least everything once <laughs> but I know people are like oh why are you, you don't need all that stuff but like what's like I have to like I have to so I'm going to try to talk him in to going to Target with me because they just came out with their fall stuff and oh my god um yeah so I'm going to have to go over there and get some of the fall baby stuff. And then also, since I'm a diamond member for Ulta, I got a thing in the mail to get a free travel size Urban Decay all-nighter spray or a living proof dry shampoo. And then there's something else on there. Oh, it was like a tart mascara, I think. So I think I'm going to run into Ulta and grab the Urban Decay all-nighter spray because I don't need any more dry shampoo. And then I kind of want to see if they have a St. Tropez facial tanning mist because I'm completely out of it and I didn't want to get the full size because it's 30 bucks and I only have like two months left of summer so um I'm gonna see if they have like a travel size or something I think that's all we're doing so I'll definitely update you guys when I get out of my appointment and then I'll bring you guys along with me for whatever else we decide to do we are going to film the gender miss video it's been killing me not being able to tell you guys like what it is we haven't told anybody except for like immediate family so nobody knows like what this baby is except for like 10 people it's been killing me not to be able to tell you guys yet because I really wanted to film the gender miss video before I tell you guys like the gender reveal and all that stuff so I will see you guys here in a little bit so we just got out of our doctor's appointment for our 29 and a half week checkup and this baby already weighs four pounds and our appointment from two weeks ago the baby only weighed 2.3 pounds so in two weeks the baby gained almost two pounds so we did that we finally found out that I passed the glucose test which is nice to know because I did that like two months ago um, so I passed that what else did she say about That's really it. She, she said that the baby she thinks looks like me got a couple of pictures Saturday we're doing the 40 thing so hopefully the pictures then will be way better than these sonogram pictures but what else about the appointment oh so my next appointment for God, I can't even take myself serious with these things so my next appointment is in two weeks so this baby I feel like is going to come a lot faster than October 17th so we'll see tell them how you feel I've been excited this whole time. I'm just, I, I'm more so just like kind of over the appointments and like I just want to get started. Like I'm super excited uh, about it and I just want it to happen. I just want to just go through the whole labor part. I just want to just get that out of the way. I just want to bring the baby home. I'm just kind of sick like the back and forth with like the doctors and hearing them say this, that, and the other and not giving some information and then giving some information and then not setting things up and setting things up and it's just yeah, I, I'm like I'm just over it I just want the baby to be born and I just can't wait for that day and I'm just done with this part like, well, I'm and we ready. have to sit down and do the second trimester recap like we did the first one yeah so we still have to do that so hopefully we'll do that this week too so I can get that up so you guys can know all the juicy details about what's been going on in the whole second trimester since I'm in the third trimester so so we're back from Target so I figured I would just show you guys a quick What's going on? A quick little haul of what we got. Nothing special. We got Jaden a binder, some folders. School starts on Monday. And then these are the best donuts ever. How do you say Edamins? Edamins. Edamins. They're so good. So we got these. And these are the best gummies ever, and for some reason I've been really craving gummies lately, so I got me mixed fruit and strawberry. They're at the front counter, they're a dollar, and then I got Jaden a strawberry. 
code red. I know I shouldn't be drinking that. And then we all love these. These are the, these are the Gardein Mandarin Orange Crispy Chicken. So it's like a vegan chicken. They're like soy chickens. They're so good. You guys should totally try them. I can only find this brand at Target. I don't think I've ever seen it at Walmart, but it's at Whole Foods too. But so we got two bags of those. I got this for Jaden's room. It's the Glade Spray Warm Up Flannel Embrace. It smells like guys. I very you like it. Oh, and then if you have a registry at Target, you get a free baby bag that has just like samples and stuff in it. So I'm gonna do like a whole separate video, like unboxing um, and showing all the free stuff that we got from Target. So if you have a baby registry and you haven't gotten it, go pick it up. Then we got some clothes, but I can't show you guys because then you'll know what we're having. And then, and then we got Jaden, his favorite Gatorades too. Then I got a couple of packages, so we'll just open these real quick. Oh. So there's a maternity brand on Instagram that I actually saw through Casey Holmes called Shop Pink Blush. And they sent me an email and they asked me if I wanted to be one of their affiliates which is awesome. So they let me pick out a few things. So one of the things I picked out was this robe and it's just like a floral robe. So I'm gonna take a picture of it, of me wearing it a little later, but it looks really nice and soft. So that came. And then I found this sweater off of Finger Hut that was originally like 50 bucks. And it was on sale for 10. And I love fuzzy sweaters, so we'll see. knew when I saw these I knew Frank I told you I should have got everybody these for Christmas now they're all sold out so this is what it looks like it's like a sweater cardigan jacket you see it yeah you can see it is it this super cute hopefully Deb doesn't watch this why because I got her one for her birthday uh -huh. nine dollars it was originally 50 this is like perfect. Is there pockets? Yes, there's one pocket. We'll be here forever if I keep doing it. But this is nice for, I mean, it's not the most flattering, but what do you think? It's cute. I can't really complain, but I know it's, like I could even just wear it around the house. It looks comfy. Frank's gonna make the chicken that we bought and some Japanese rice for dinner. Jasmine. Jasmine rice? Mm -hmm. Why do I say that? You're pregnant. Hey guys, it's super late in the day, but today is Wednesday, August 7th, I believe. Um, this morning I woke up and I didn't sleep very well because I'm getting like body aches and stuff just from like being pregnant. Like some nights I sleep really well and other nights I just like hurt everywhere and yesterday was one of those nights. So I got up this morning and then I edited a ColourPop haul and a foundation first impression that I filmed yesterday this morning. Those took forever for some reason and I got done with those at like one and then I had to wait to sign for a package. So I did that and then Jaden and I jumped in the pool for a little bit and I just got out of the shower. I think it's like four or something in the afternoon but I'm gonna try out this Freeman's mask it's like a watermelon type of mask or whatever I thought it would be perfect to try out after like a couple hours in the sun you can see like I'm a little red I normally don't 
I've been trying really hard not to put my face in the sun because with me being pregnant my skin is like 10 times more sensitive than it normally is and even when I'm not pregnant my skin is sensitive but I mean I did a little bit today and then this is what I got so I'm gonna try out that mask I'm gonna show you guys what it is and then what it looks like on I think you only leave it on for 10 minutes and you wash it off and yes oh and there's hazel see how lazy I was saying I didn't even make my bed <laughs> hazel excuse me Just move it for a second. This is the mask I'm going to be trying out. It says watermelon plus aloe cooling gel mask. Instantly nourishes and calms for refreshed skin. And then on the back, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it says just to leave on for, I mean, you guys aren't going to be sad, but it says just leave on for 10 minutes. I'm going to try this out. Let me see what it says. This cooling gel mask is a must have for sensitive skin. Juicy watermelon extracts delivers refreshing hydration for breakout prone skin. Oh, I don't know if I need that. Owl leaf juice is a powerful calming ingredient that soothes skin. Directions apply to clean face and neck, avoiding contact with eyes and hairline. Leave on for 10 minutes and rinse off with warm water used twice a week. So I guess we'll try it this once. Hopefully it doesn't make me break out. So I just put it on. You can see it smells really good. It smells like watermelon candy, actually. Um, what else are we going to do today? I think we might grill or we might go get food. I don't know. We bought some meat. I haven't really been eating meat a lot during this pregnancy. I don't really like meat in general, but like the thought of eating meat, anything besides chicken during this whole pregnancy has like totally just made me want to hurl. So we might grill that or we might go get something. I don't really know. What else am I going to do today? I don't think we have any other plans. I was going to film today, but today was just like not a good day. Okay, it wasn't a bad day, but it wasn't a good day to film, so I didn't do that. So I think I might actually go in my makeup room and, like, put some stuff away and, like, organize a little bit. But other than that, I think when Frank gets here, we're just going to make dinner and chill, probably watch TV till we go to bed. But we've been doing this thing, like, the last, like, two weeks. I taught him how to play rummy because my grandma taught me when I was little and I used to play with her all the time and I finally taught him how to play so we've been literally playing that in the bed at least like three or four hands every night before we go to sleep so we'll probably do that again today and I still need to catch up on The Handmaid's Tale I watched the first two episodes of this new season and then I just stopped watching it so I need to finish that up at some point in time I did finish the new season of Orange and New Black and I was just like I think the first and second season were the best, and then after that, it just kind of wasn't my cup of tea after that, so yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit on my skin for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and let you guys know after I wash it off, like what I think. So I just washed it off. Well, not washed it off. I kind of like patted warm water on my face until it felt like it came off, and it made my skin feel really smooth, and then I just went... In with my moisturizer I've been using a lot this is the it confidence in a cream I'm actually all out I think it came in a boxy charm this is definitely something that I would repurchase and then I've been using this eye cream at night this is the L'Oreal eye defense so I've been using this eye cream at night because it says that you can use it under makeup but I noticed when I put my concealer on top of it it would like ball up my concealer so I've been using it at night instead so yeah my skin feels really nice and smooth hey guys so today is Friday August 9th I didn't vlog at all yesterday which was Thursday uh, we had something happen so we'll talk about that later or whatever but I just got done getting ready I was gonna put on makeup but man it is just when it is so hot outside it is so hard to get motivated to put on makeup so I was just like screw it we're about to go um, back to school shopping for Jaden get him some clothes go out to eat stuff like that and like we're gonna go to an outdoor mall so the last thing I want to do is have like five pounds of makeup on walking around in 95 degree weather so that's why I just decided to wear just Adidas shirt sweat shorts and then a hat and then we just got the mail and I got a PR package from CoverGirl so I'm really excited. I'm going to open it with you guys right now and then I'm just going to kind of dilly dally around until Frank gets here. So so this is the PR package. CoverGirl True Blend Undercover. Unlock your True Blend Undercover Concealer. What's this? 
So I guess this goes on here. Somehow. It says my shade they have for me is M10. So we have three choices of concealer down here on this little wheel. And then we have some artist tips from celebrity makeup artist Ash Holm. I think I've seen her on Instagram before. And then this is what we got. Ooh, you guys, I tried this in a um, first impressions makeup tutorial, this powder, and it was so good. So this one's 50 translucent. And then we have 600 banana. Looks like we have a highlighter right here. And then another, oops, sorry. We have a highlighter right here. Then another one. Is there anything underneath that? No. Then we have my foundation shade, M10. And then we have the three concealers that they picked out for me. Then I have the True Blend Skin Primer, the moisturizing one, which I need because I have dry skin. Underneath it, they also sent a mattifying one. Ooh, brow gel. Then they sent me the Easy Breezy Brow Gel. This is the shade Light. And we have a clear shade. Oh, wow. Then underneath, they sent a deep shade and a medium shade. And then up here, it's just some information about their powder, the highlighter, the foundation, the concealer, the skin primer, and the brow gel. So thank you, CoverGirl. I always love getting these packages. So I haven't introduced you guys to our new devil cat. This is Haley Jo Osment. I want to change her name to Praline, but Jane wants to leave as Haley on center picture. When she was like a little baby, she looked exactly like him, so that's why we named her that. But isn't she cute? Little girl. Hey. hey, she's psycho. Hey, show your face. Show your cute little face. Mommy's? Hi. He's so pretty. So if you guys watched my Vlogmas this past year, so it would have been like 2018 Vlogmas, um, <laughs> like the summer before that, so the summer of 2000. 19 these little kittens kept running in our neighbor's yard and we thought that that they were their cats but they said no and i felt bad for them so i started putting out food for them and frank's like don't feed them don't feed them and then i did it anyways and then here we are like a year and a half later and they had kittens they grew up and they had kittens in our backyard we took one of them and her seven kittens to this no kill shelter it's like a cat What's the word I want? Starts with an S. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. It's like a safe haven for cats. So they don't kill them, they just keep them, and I think they just keep them forever until they get adopted. So we took her and all her seven kittens there. And now we still have, oh, and then Frank gave two away to, two kittens away to people that he works with. So that leaves us with Ralph, which is like the little orange boy cat. I don't think I'll be able to catch him and take him to the no-kill shelter. Like, they trust me, but they don't trust me like that much. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him. And I don't wanna call animal control because they'll kill him. So I'm just like letting him live in the backyard and feeding him. And then we have Agatha. <laughs> who also had kittens two of hers got adopted one of them like disappeared i don't know where that one went and then there's still one in the backyard so i think tomorrow we're going to capture the last two kittens that are back there and we're going to take them to the no kill shelter place so right now after the two kittens are gone we still have agatha and we we named her agatha because she's kind of mean <laughs> and the name just felt like it fit her so we have agatha back there and then there's another cat that just like wandered over here and we call her two face because her face is split into two different colors and she was pregnant and she just had kittens so she hasn't brought the kittens over to our house yet so i'm hoping she'll bring them over soon so we can take her and her kittens to the same place that we took the other cat and then i think that's the only ones that we have left so hopefully by the end of the day we're only left with two but Haley is actually agatha's baby and we decided out of all the kittens we're gonna pick at least one to keep so that's the one that we picked Haley over there she's super cute so yeah, I'm just living here with like 10 cats. Oh my God, Frank hates me. 
<laughs> but I feel so bad for them. <laughs> So we just got to this shopping mall called Ontario Mills. I don't know how much we're gonna vlog in there because last time we were here it was like ridiculously busy. So I'm gonna try to vlog like a little bit. So we'll see what we can do. So Frank's here. Hey. Jaden's here. Hi. <laughs> so we'll see. We're gonna go to Bye Bye Baby, do a registry, and get a free baby bag. <laughs> We're like collecting baby bags from all over the place, but hey, there's something about that, right? So here's a little mini shopping haul. So we went to Bye Bye Baby to do the registry. I'm gonna do a separate like unbagging boxing video with what we got for the free gift, but we had to get this outfit for Thanksgiving. Like, how cute is this? And it's like that nice, soft, like, baby blanket material. So cute. And then look at the butt. Do you like it? I do. I think it's super cute. <laughs> then we went to Vans. Oh, I guess there's a bunch of stuff in here. So I guess we'll do five and below first. So... <laughs> We started off the summer with three floaties and they all popped, so this is our last one for the summer. I'm not buying anymore, but I got this one for the pool for the next two months. And then I got some gum because every time I get gum, Frank steals it. And then I had to get cowtails because they're my favorite. Every food item I've showed in this vlog this week has been junk. Oh my god. And then blue Laffy Taffy because that's my favorite. Most of this stuff is like teenager clothes, but we went to H&M and they didn't have like anything like at all, which is weird, but I got Jaden these sweat shorts. These were $12.99. They do have a pocket on the butt too, so that's nice. And then he picked out just this gray t-shirt with a black pocket. Yep. This was... We paid $14.99 for a great t-shirt. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. I wasn't going to tell him that I picked it out. What else you got? I'm done with this. Can you fold this? Yeah. We went to Vans and we actually got good deals here. So, got him this belt. This was... How much was this? I think it was $15. I don't see the price on it, but I'm pretty sure it was like 15 bucks. This is what that looks like. Then the t-shirts at Vans were three for 30, which we thought was a good deal. So he picked out this black one. And he picked out this red one. That's the back of it. And then that's the front. These shirts look really big. They'll probably shrink a little bit, I guess. It's tall for you, and then found a wallet when we were checking out, so we got him this. Matches his belt. I think this was 15 too. This was, yeah, $15. Because right now he's rocking an Iron Man's wallet, so we varied. <laughs> and then picked out this shirt too. 
then we went to Burlington. Oh, minus the van stuff, we didn't find very many good back to school sales, so I'm kind of disappointed. So Jaden loves sweatshorts, so we got him these. And they have like the motor, whatever these are called, I don't know, moto print. These were full price $34, but we got them for $7.99. Then we got um this shirt has like a zip pocket. This was only six ninety nine, so that's not bad. How much full price was it? Does it say? No, it didn't say. And it's like extra long down here. So we got on this one. I think it's the same brand. Doesn't say what the full price was. Oh, this is a medium. I meant to get a large. So this was only six ninety nine. And then this shirt was only, how much was it, like $1.79? Was it? Yeah, $1.74. <laughs> Just a white, white t-shirt. Jaden's biggest thing he likes to wear is black pants and white shirts. For yeah. For reason. And then I got this for myself because the one I was wearing today came from Burlington too and they had this there for, how much is it? 13 bucks. But how much was it full price? Full price Isn't it like 30 or something? I don't know. It didn't say. It's on there. I'm pretty sure these Adidas shirts, I really like them. They're like thick, like the one I was wearing today. They're really good quality. I'm pretty sure they're like $25 or $30, so I got that one. And it's hot pink, so duh. And then this is what I snuck in the bag for Frank. I think it's nice. How much is it? It was originally $36, Six but we got it for $6.99. Hey guys, so today is Saturday the 10th. Um, we're currently on our way to our 4D ultrasound. Frank and then Jane's back there. So we're on our way to that and then the only thing we did today was swim in the pool and like my hands are burnt and my arms are burnt, but whatever. So we're super excited to finally see the baby's face in 4D and not just these crappy sonogram pictures. So we're gonna vlog our whole experience so hopefully it's positive and we will see you guys when we get there right yes Try to get Bernie to walk around a little bit.
so we're back home from our ultrasound we're actually gonna go back on Tuesday she said that we could come back because the baby was being super stubborn and kept putting their hands in front of their face even she did it for like 10 or 15 minutes and the baby kept putting a hand right here and um, she got a couple of good pictures but she said we could come back on Tuesday and then she left for a little bit for what like five minutes and then I jumped up and down I shook my stomach I did all kinds of stuff to get the baby to move and then when she went to go do the ultrasound again the baby decided that they were going to put both their hands in front of their face this time. So me running around like a crazy woman didn't help at all. But we got a little bear getting picked out. So this is the bear and it has the heartbeat. You can hear it. Jaden picked out the bear. Tell them how you cried when you saw the little feet. Yeah, um, so when it all started, like I... Okay, I guess I was kind of like underwhelmed with the whole process a little bit, just because I expected it to be a little bit more clear. But, I, but I mean, it was cool or whatever. Like I liked it a lot. Um, but yeah, you still really couldn't tell a whole lot of detail about the face and things like that. Like you could tell like where like the nose was and the lips and the eyes, but it was just kind of like distorted. The picture wasn't like that clear. So I still don't really feel like I know what it looks like. But when they showed the feet, feet were all uh, crossed. And the baby was sitting there and just looked super cute, so it made me cry. So, I, whatever. I can't control myself. So, yeah, that part was cute. Oh, well, I definitely think that they have Frank's nose. Like, that was not my nose. That was... Possibly. I don't know, because when you look at other pictures on um, the 4D, uh, stuff like on Google and everything, if you look at those pictures of other babies, the noses... I mean, they kind of look how the babies look in real life when they compare the two pictures, but I don't know, like, the baby's nose looks a little bit wide, and like, I have a wider nose than Brittany does, but not like that. <laughs> Today's the first day of 8th grade! Yeah. How do you feel? Nice. Show everybody in your backpack. Oh, 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 TD for this eighth grader. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, mommy? You trying to get in the water cup? Hmm? Ooh, you love the camera. Oh, you want this? Hi. You want to tell everybody what we're doing? We're sitting on the couch watching YouTube. So cute. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Hey guys, so hopefully the lighting's okay, I can't really see. Um, I'm on my way to go get my hair done. I swear, it's only been like less than three months and then 10 inches of root. Like I can't even deal. Oh. Anyway, so I'm on my way to get my hair done. Today is Monday the 12th. As you saw this morning, it was Jaden's first day of eighth grade. And then Haley, the little kitten, and I just kind of watched YouTube and some Netflix and then I just got done getting ready and now I'm headed to the hair salon I'm just gonna do like pretty much just thick um, highlights I don't know thicker highlights of just like a white one shade or whatever just so I have like an all-over kind of like the same color and just a few low lights pregnancy brain has really getting me today anyways I'm wearing this t-shirt dress I have this dress seriously in like 10 different colors from misguided they went on sale I think this time last year for like 10 bucks a piece so I just like stocked up on these t-shirt dresses thank goodness because it is a hot and I'm pregnant and I am not trying to be wearing pants <laughs> and it's hard to wear shorts now too because like 
it's not comfortable enough to pull them over and I like to wear high waisted stuff and I can't do that anymore and then it just looks weird if I like have the shorts underneath my stomach so t-shirt dresses it is probably until the baby gets here so I will check in with you guys when I'm done with my hair appointment and let you guys see like you can see all these roots yeah and oh yeah my sunglasses are the Desi key collab the fades so I'll see you guys here in a little bit just got back from my hair appointment finally I don't have like 10 inches of roots so that's nice I'm all blonde again and then I just picked Jaden up and we went to Wendy's got some food so now we're just gonna hang out until Frank gets here and then I'm gonna start putting the stuff together for this vlogs giveaway so I'm gonna include that after this clip so this is going to be the giveaway for this vlog it's just a quick overview it's almost $400 worth of stuff so just a closer look we have the Tarte Volume of the Sea Volume 3 eyeshadow palette. We have a CoverGirl primer, a key sunglass case, a couple of Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Masks. We have the PYT Mini Hair Straightener. We have a primer right here, a matte lip crayon, Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion, some Farah brushes. Ulta setting spray and I threw in a little bit of minis. This is the Benefit Hula liquid bronzer. A couple of products from First Aid Beauty. One of my favorite blushes from Makeup Geek. We have a Wet n Wild Skinny Tip Eyeliner, CoverGirl Mascara. We have an Inglot Lipstick Square, Lorac Gloss. These glosses are so pigmented. Then we have an Ofra Metallic Liquid Lipstick, an Ulta Beauty Lipstick. Then we have a Stila Patina liquid lipstick. We have a Dr. Hauschka eyeliner, another eyeliner below. The Bella Pierre concealer palette. Milani highlighter is so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up this giveaway vlog on Wednesday the 14th and then I'm gonna run it to Wednesday the 21st. So the only thing that I would like for you guys to do is just give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and then just write your Instagram handle and a comment or whatever you want to do in the comments below so that way if you do win I'm able to DM you on Instagram and let you know so that way I can get your address and ship this giveaway out to you. Hey guys, so I thought I would just pop in real quick and just kind of wrap up this summer vlog. So one of the days that I did a vlog was Thursday and that's because Jaden actually had a seizure and he's never had one before. So we kind of like freaked out all day so I didn't even get on the phone really or I didn't vlog at all that day either because we were just like watching him like a hawk. But what happened was... Um, we went into the kitchen to make sandwiches for lunch and then he was getting into the cabinets like right next to me and I was getting in the fridge and he like fell backwards and I saw it out of the corner of my eye but I thought he was just like messing with me so I got like mad at him and I was like Jaden get off the floor like we need to make lunch and he like didn't respond so I went over and I stood over on top of him and he was like would you say he was convulsing is that what that is he basically from what I understand, because I wasn't there because I was at work, but from what I understand is that he kind of just like curled up and his hands and everything yeah. just like kind of curled up and then he and started he was, drooling and everything. He was drooling, he was crying, he was like mumbling, like 
it was probably like a good 20 30 seconds but it took me like half the time to even like realize like what was happening or whatever and then I started panicking and because I really thought he was just like messing with me even at like that point or whatever so that scared the shit out of me obviously so I called Frank and I told him so Frank came home and then while I was waiting for Frank to get home I called my aunt um she works at the hospital so I asked her like what we should do because that's never happened before I didn't know what was going on so um we ended up taking him to the emergency room and they got us in like super fast like I thought we were gonna have to wait like in the lobby or whatever but we didn't have to so we got in there and then um they asked him like a couple of questions and then they they gave him an IV what else did they, they took his blood they gave him an IV and then a they urine. did the a urine test an EKG where they is that what it's called EKG mm -hmm. where they put like all the patches on you and so they did all that so he was out of it for like a good at least three at least and a half, half that time we were at the we were in the hospital for like five hours they also did a ct scan as well just to yeah. look at everything there and make sure you didn't have any swelling of the brain and all of that and then since then we've scheduled a follow-up appointment with our primary care physician he'll be having they said just within 10 days so i think our appointment is like next week sometime so yeah so that happened but the last time, the only time I've ever seen something have a seizure was in, like, fourth grade. And my friend's dog had a seizure, and it literally haunted me for, like, ten years. So, like, this haunted me, like, the whole, like, night that it happened or whatever. Because I kept, like, replaying his face in my brain. Oh, my, or my brain. I kept replaying his face, like, in my head. So, oh, my goodness. But we made him sleep in our room for, like four or five days and I went and I sat in the bathroom with him while he was in the shower I went down the stairs and I literally followed him everywhere for like four days straight because I was just so paranoid like oh my god yeah we kind of just made sure that he wasn't you know like getting lightheaded or um like whatnot but there was a couple times or the last couple days where he said he hasn't really felt kind of like okay, I guess. Yeah, he yeah. said he had a headache or... Well, he would because he hit his head on the kitchen floor like yeah. this. Like, he just fell straight back on our linoleum, which is like yeah. cement. So more, so, more on that. What I think happened, which she doesn't really know because she didn't see how he was laying or whatever, but I think it was just kind of one of those fluke things where um, I think he was just laying, like, flat on the uh, couch, and then he's just kind of stood up too quick and then got lightheaded and then passed out and then hit his head on the ground. And then I think that just from the impact from hitting his head on the ground is kind of what caused a seizure. Uh, the reason I'm saying that, again, is just from sports like back in the day. used to see a lot of people get hit so hard that they legit seize up and it just kind of happened. So I think he just so happened to have hit his head in just the right place that it made him seize. So... Um, that's why we're going to take him to our primary care physician and then we can just make sure that it's not like something else more serious. Yeah. yeah. When we were in the emergency room, the doctor there did say after he, he looked at the CT scan and then they did the EKG and then they looked at everything else, he did say that um, he believed it to be like a one-time just kind of freak occurrence, just how he hit his head. It's just what happened. So um, it does seem like he's kind of back, well, he is back to normal, but he's had a couple days where he just didn't feel good. But who knows what that could be. Um, related to, we were in the pool over the weekend, um, so he went in on, like, Wednesday or Thursday, and then we were in the pool on, on Sunday, and we weren't really doing anything very strenuous, we were just hanging out in the pool, didn't really think that'd be a big deal, and then he was out there for about an hour, and then all of a sudden he was like, I feel kind of lightheaded, so I'm like, okay, let's go inside, let's shower, let's go lay down, let's just make sure that you're okay. I know that you can have recurring symptoms afterwards for a while, um, when, when things like that happen, so... I mean, it is what it is. We're trying to watch him as much as we can, and then hopefully when we get in to see our primary care physician, then we'll have more answers. If we have no answers, I guess that wouldn't be a bad thing either, just as long as it doesn't happen again. So Yeah. So that's why we didn't vlog at all on Thursday, because we were dealing with that. And we we weren't sure if we were going to share it or not, but, I mean, it happened. It's, like, real-life stuff. And I, this is just a one-time thing for us, hopefully, but I know probably a lot of people actually have seizures all the time. So we were able to just pop in and, like, mention that and... Hopefully it doesn't happen again. So that's scary. And they say that it's worse for the viewer than it is for the person having it. And, like, I don't ever want to see that again. Like, I thought whenever Brittany was calling me, I thought that this was it, that we were going into labor. and that. But, uh, no, it was far worse than that, I suppose. Um, you know, I would have rather it um, had been that at this point because, obviously, I don't want to see anything bad happen to anyone, especially Jaden. You know, I don't want him to have seizures or anything like that. It's, that's yeah. really terrible, but... Um, you know, it is what it is. So, instead of leaving on a negative note to wrap up this vlog, <laughs> or it's not really negative, but it's like a sad situation, we're going to try to, like, talk about something positive. 
So we figured we would just talk about our second appointment for the 4D HE, which you should have seen that clip right before this. And the first time we went, it wasn't that good of an experience because the baby was asleep. So we didn't really get to see all that much. And so we, we all kind of left like a little bit disappointed, I guess, but they let us come back again for free. Um, and I just drank like an icy before we went. So that made the baby like stay awake the whole time. And like, I'm so glad that we went back because had we not, I probably would have been like a little upset leaving the first time but the second time was so much better the baby was like super active and moving around and stuff and we got like some super cute pictures of the face and like all that stuff and everything was just like way better like the second time around for sure yeah we got to see some uh pretty cool things about it i i guess in my mind and i guess what you see even advertise if you just get on it's like a google or something like that and you just look up 40 pictures it's like you see a lot that I don't really believe that's really how they actually look. So, like, for example, the ones that we got for our baby, they're not anywhere near as clear as how they're kind of advertised. So um, Either they're Photoshopping them or somebody found a better place to go that's, like, yeah, high Yeah, I mean, maybe the equipment that they were using at where we were at maybe wasn't up to date. I guess that could be it. I have no idea, but it's still very cool. We can still see a lot of things in the baby, like the nose, the mouth, um just like the shape I guess of the head but everything is still kind of distorted a little bit like it looks like there's like bumps or whatever like they look everywhere. like they're from the hills have eyes people. yeah so it's um yeah it's like you're like oh like the baby looks super cute but also kind of deformed at the same time which whatever if that's how it was and that's how it is so um but we're excited because we're going to compare these pictures to when they come out and see if they look the same so that'll be interesting so that's going to be the wrap up for this summer vlog. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is thumbs up this video and please subscribe and then leave a comment in the comment section. <laughs> What's the description box? In the comment section with your Instagram handle and then just like whatever you want to say or if you just want to leave that, that's fine too. And then make sure you're also following me on Instagram so that way if you do win, I can send you a DM and then I can mail you your stuff. And then I'll also put in the description box like how to enter the giveaway as well if you want to go and like read it yourself so you can see like exactly what you need to do. So thank you guys so much for following me around for the last week of the summer and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.